what's up guys, it's Magic Addicts 2 here, and I've got a new deck review for you guys. This is the B Black Acornback deck review. Um, so let me get into it. We'll start off with the box. On the front, you see um, it says B, playing cards, and then Erdenes, and we've got the uh, B right there, and at the top it says 1902 Club Special. Um, and the silver leaves right here and here and the silver uh, ribbon at the top are metallic silver ink which is a really nice accent to the box. Um, the back shows uh, the back design with the silver metallic ink and it says acorn back which is what they call the design um, and it says extra selected for club special. Uh, on the side, it says made in the USA, and you've got the leaves on the sides of the words. The other side says acorn back club special, again with the leaves on the sides. At the bottom, you've got some copyright info, and at the top, it says poker, and then cambric, and then the seal is kind of covering that. You've got the USPCC seal on there. Um, and then when you open it up, you've got some more copyright info. So it's a nice, simple box. It's the same as all the other Acorn back decks. Um, so there's the box, and now we have the cards. Um, it's a great deck of cards. This is my first, um, like I said, first deck from Conjuring Arts. So this is my first acorn back deck, and I really like the design. Um, I'm a big fan of black and white decks, so having a black and silver back was really nice. So first we'll take a look at the cards that you get with it. Um, you get the Ask Alexander card, um, which is cool, and uh, there's an ad card on the back. Then you have um, a card from the expert at the card table book that has some, um, some writing on there. And it has the back design of the deck. Now let's talk about the jokers and the ace of spades. Um, you've got almost identical jokers. The only difference is the cards that are on the table are different. So it could be used as a reveal, I guess, but it's very, very small, so it would be hard to see. Um, so with that being the only difference, we'll only take a look at one. Um, you have a man sitting in a chair at a table, and he's uh, dealing cards. The top, it says the Joker, and in the corners, you can see there are stars. And at the bottom, it says the expert at the card table. So those are some neat Jokers. Now. We have the Ace of Spades, which is your standard B Ace of Spades. Very nice, um, but nothing that we haven't seen before. Now let's take a look at the uh, face cards and court cards. So the court cards are really neat. They have um, they have th the faces are a flesh tone. So you've got like a tan uh, color, which is really cool. Um, and it makes the deck seem more lively, I guess. And the King of Spades is actually David Blaine. So the court cards are created after famous magicians and people like that. Um, the pips are very bold and fat, like the diamonds, you can really see clubs too. And one thing that I really like about this deck is that the uh, the letters and numbers in the corners are very small and thin. And at first I wasn't too sure about it, but um, after really looking at it, I really like it. Um, and it looks very nice in a fam. If you guys get these cards, you'll definitely notice it, and I'm sure you guys will like it. It's a really cool 
um, font that they used and I'm really glad that they used it. So now let's talk about the back design. The back design is the classic acorn back um, and you see there are two circles with um, it looks like an S and an E and above them it says 1902 and then in the middle of the circles there are actually acorns um, in this smaller circle right there there are acorns and the design around those circles looks like almost um, to me it looks like peanuts uh, from a distance, but if you really look close, it's actually um, hands that are cutting the cards and I guess doing uh, slates with the cards. So that's really, really neat. Um, you have to look closely to see that, and it's a really cool, I guess you would you could call it an illusion when you look from a distance you don't notice it but when you look closely you notice it and the colors that they used are really great they accent well and the contrast is definitely there you've got a black back with the designs being metallic silver ink and we've got a white border I really like the back design and it's just overall a really nice looking deck so now let's talk about the handling of this deck. You can buy this deck in one of in two finishes. You can get it either with what they call cambric finish or embossed finish, um, or you can get it with the ivory finish, or they also call it their smooth finish. Um, the thing is that with the black acorn decks, they both actually have a magic finish coating um, which they don't which is this is their first time that they've used this and on all of the other acorn decks they have either cambric or ivory which you can choose from so um, for this they tried something new and I'm really pleased with it so if you buy this deck you won't actually be getting the uh, cambric finish or ivory finish you'll be getting a magic finish and the, um, but they, the two will feel different. Um, this is the cambric finish, and I was not able to get my hands on the ivory finish, uh, so I'm sorry about that, but these ones are what they say is cambric finish, but it's actually magic finish. It's kind of confusing, um, but it handles beautifully. Like I showed you guys before, it fans really, really well. Um, it looks nice in a fan, so that's very great. Um, you can get a nice thumb fan too. So fanning ability is great. The finish feels very, very nice, and I really like it. So fanning, great. Spreads, great. Um, the deck looks great in a spread. Pressure fans very well. The stock is a B stock, so it's sort of uh, stiff and it's a little thick, um, but I really like it. It's a it's going to be a long lasting deck because of the thicker stock. Um, and mine has not started to clump yet at all, and I've been using this deck a lot. So it's a great, great deck. Dribbles really nicely, springs nicely. The only thing is that it takes a while to break it in, but after you use it for a good amount of time, it's going to be a great deck, and you will definitely enjoy it. So I definitely recommend that you pick up the Black Acorn decks. They're, uh, they're not expensive, and you can get them on eBay from a seller called Cards and Decks. Um, they have amazing prices. Uh, you can get this deck for extremely cheap. I think it's about $3.50 right now um, per deck, so definitely go there. 
um, and go quick because they are selling. So that's it for the review of this deck. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll put the link to where you can buy these in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next review. Thank you.